Hi, my name is Kirkwood Hines. I'm an applications engineer with Hawkridge Systems. And today I'd like to show you one of the new options while mirroring components within assemblies. So in previous versions of SolidWorks, we are limited to orienting our parts using the centroid of the part being mirrored. Um, but this doesn't really work when you're working with asymmetric parts like this gear case where we have these cutouts here and these bosses on the inside. So let's just see how this new option works. So we'll jump into mirror components and select our face and our components that we're interested in mirroring and jump over to the orientation. So with the center of mass option, as we try to orient the case, we do not have the option that we're looking for um, because it's using that centroid. So the edges aren't lined up over here. But if we choose the bounding box option, they line up because it's using this yellow box drawn around the case to orient the part. So that's good. So now our part's mirrored properly. All the mates have carried over. So that's the new option for mirroring with a bounding box in SolidWorks. For more useful videos like this, subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems channel. Thank you for watching.